This is part 12 in a series designed to teach you how to use the features of the Family Search Research Wiki to help find genealogical records about your ancestors who lived in Germany. In part 7, you had an overview of Germany province pages. In this lesson, you will learn in greater detail how to use the tools found in the church records section of each province page. You will first come to a listing of online records available for your province. I'm going to teach you how to navigate through one of the most helpful online databases of church records for Germany. Archeon is a massive collection of Lutheran records put together by the various Lutheran churches in each state. The different archives pretty much match the states. When you click on a particular archive, you'll get a list of parish registers held in that archive. The ones that are in green are digitized. You click on the parish and you'll see a list of the different registers that are available. Select a record. You will then click on this little book icon in order to see the actual images. You'll have to go to this form and register for an account. To actually see the images costs a little bit of money. Very reasonable. Some archives are organized by deanery instead of parish. The deanery would then have several parishes in it. So in that case, you click up here on search, enter the parish, click digitized. It will bring up a list of what they have, and clicking on this book will take you to the actual images. This search method also works well when you haven't been able to figure out which archives your records should be in. The next section of the province page will teach you how to find digitized records in the Family Search catalog. When Family Search first began gathering records, it used microfilm. Gradually, all of these microfilms will be digitized. You click on the catalog link, open the link places within the state, and I get all the parishes that are available. I select my parish. Here, I click on the category Church Records. Clicking on the source title will take you to the film and digital notes. Here on the left, you will see the type of record and the years covered. Taufen means baptisms. Those are infant baptisms. Tota is deaths. Hieraten is marriages. Firmungen is confirmations. And in the Familian booth, the priest organized all the records into family groups. On the right, a camera means that it is digitized, and clicking on it takes you to the digitized images. A magnifying glass means that it is indexed, and clicking on that takes you to the index. The key means that it has some restrictions on the use. It can be searched at a family history center or a family search affiliate library. This web page will help you locate the library closest to you, and the link for it is listed in the notes below this video. You now need to watch this class, German Church and Civil Records, by Dr. Fritz Jungling. He will spend a whole hour teaching you how to simplify the reading of these records by knowing which chunks of the records you actually have to pay attention to. He teaches you how to filter out parts you can ignore and focus on the parts that are really going to help with genealogy. You'll find that using this method really increases your confidence in your ability to read these records. The link for this class will be in the notes below this video. The link to the class is also found on the Germany Genealogy main page under Germany Research Tools. Instead of using this tiny format at the top, download the video so that it shows on your full screen. You'll be able to see the records much easier that way. The next part of a Germany province page gives you tools to help you write letters to local parishes, asking the priest to search for records for you for a fee or a donation to the church. Here are Lutheran and Catholic address finders. 
Here is the address finder for the Lutheran Church. Click on your parish, and at the bottom you will find the website, its placement on a map, and the address. The next part of the province page will tell you how to address the letter. There is a link to a German letter writing guide that will teach you how to write a letter in German requesting records. Now you try it. Go back to part 8, finding aids for German records if you still need to find the parish for your town. Check the province page for online records. Look in the Family Search catalog for the availability of microfilmed or digitized records. If you haven't yet learned how to read German records, go back and watch Part 10 to learn how to read both the handwriting and the vocabulary found in German church records. Watch German civil and church records for more in-depth training on reading the records. Use your province page to find the address for your parish if you need to write for records. Watch part 14 to learn how to write the letter in German.